I'm on acid. Awesome. Hello everybody, it's me again, and welcome to another PlayStation VR demo. This one is not on the demo disc, this is actually an independent demo, released just a few days ago, as of the day I'm recording this, probably more like a week ago. And, uh, it's, I think, my first VR game that I've played that's made by Ubisoft, in collaboration with Elijah Wood and uh, Spectre Vision, I think, but... Yeah, so this is Transference. This was unveiled at E3 2017. I've been keeping my eye on it ever since. It's due for release this fall, but for now, we have this demo to tackle, and from what I understand, it's supposed to be like a psychological thriller type thing. I don't know if it's going to be horror, which makes me nervous, because usually when I play VR horror, I'm like, okay, it's a horror game. I'm going to shit my pants. And, but this time, I'm literally going into this game knowing pretty much nothing other than, uh, we're completely safe. We're completely safe. Alright, let's go ahead and tackle this thing. Oh, brain data analysis. Hello. That shit never goes weird. Hi. My name is Raymond Hayes. I'm the director of the Brain Data Analysis Research Division Cinco here at the Mayo. University. We're engaged in some birthday. very exciting work that we are thrilled to share with you today. You're, you're very lucky to be here. We have been able to create a digital environment that's based on the brain data of a single subject. Um, we'll call him Walter, let's say. Which now, does John this experience Doe not do? Okay. will work best if I tell you as little about Walter ahead of time as possible, but I will tell you that he has been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. Oh, okay. Now, this is the incredible part. When you put on your headset, you will find yourself in a recreation of Walter's memory of this traumatic event. Now, I should say that this technology is very new and imperfect at this stage. Some of the data may be incomplete. Some may even be corrupted. Oh, what you're well. experiencing is a recorded consciousness. It's not unlike watching a movie. So no matter how real it may seem, it can't hurt you. You are completely safe. You'll forgive me if I don't believe you. You are completely safe. Apparently, in a you don't couple believe of years, this either. technology is going to be perfected. It is going to be released in the world. And you, the very few lucky ones that are here today, are going to be able to tell your friends that you were there at the very beginning. Lucky is such is a relative special. term. So thank you. Uh, thank you, I guess. Man, May 5th, 2003. I was nine years and two days old. <laughs> is that you? Whoa, this is awesome! Every time I load into a VR game for the first time, it's immediately just like, whoa! Your brain kind of resets itself every time you take the headset off. So when you put it back on to play more, it's just always awesome. It's okay. You're not uh, supposed to be here. Uh, pardon me, I can't see. Okay, June 2002. I don't remember what the date was the first time, but okay. Somebody's yelling. Can I go in here? Baseball! Is it signed? That'd be cool. No. Lame. Okay, so all the glitchy stuff looks like things I can interact with. Ted Walter. Tetracyclic. 270 milligrams antidepressant. Huh. Okay. Well, PTSD. Comes with depression sometimes. PTSD from what? What happened? I mean, obviously, my mind immediately goes to uh, war. But that's not necessarily the case. Keep an open mind. This is a mystery after all. Baseball glove. Okay, so he plays baseball. Or at least his kid does. I don't know. The glove does look kind of small. Sertraline? 120 milligrams and more antidepressant? Jesus Christ. He cooked something in the microwave and left it there. He obviously does not take very good care of his place. So if these are the memories of this guy. Oh, I can crouch and open things, okay. What, he puts dirty plates back in the cabinet? Yuck. That's where the rats get him. Give me the fucking photo! There we go. Scott's blocks? Is that the name of the game or the name of the kid? 
Obviously, their last name is not Blocks. <laughs> but, okay. Yeah, man up, buddy. Oh, hello, we got something over here, too. Oops! Is that you? Well, shit, I thought I was turning on the lights, not off the lights. 1993? We just went back several years. 90, June of 90, 93? I wasn't even born yet. Sorry I made you mad, Daddy. Sports magazine. Yeah, okay, they're into sports. I get it. Don't touch the light switches. Got it. Okay. <laughs> oh, is that a is that a pillow? Nope, it's just a regular football. I had a football that was a pillow once. Don't know why, since I don't like football, but... Can I not? Okay, can't interact with the bird. Is it an android bird? I can't turn it on, apparently. The happy family. A missing picture frame. Okay. So this is, I've heard this game is also reliant on puzzles, so I'm assuming that's what I'm doing right now. The more information I have, the better. How to surrender. Perfection doesn't exist. Let go of who you think are you, you have to dead? be and embrace who you You're really are. Dead. Okay. That's dark. The Art of Not Caring, Living a Good Life by oh, Professor God. Alfred Abronsius. Oh, which, what I said about war. Great. Okay, reading shit in VR in little tiny lettering is kind of hard. I can't read this right now because the letters are all blurry, but pause and attempt to read it if you would, if you so desire. And, uh, if you wouldn't mind, if you can manage to read this. Uh, yeah, please tell me. Tell me, uh, tell me what it says. <laughs> write it in the comments, please. Let me just make sure I'm still recording. Yep, we're good. Okay. Third Armored Division, Iraq, 91. Oh, yep. There's where the PTSD came from. Just like I predicted. Okay, so there's a missing picture frame. I assume maybe I unlock more memories if I figure out where the picture is. And fix it. Oh. Fire truck! Yep. Just about. Are you even there? You're never there. Okay, kids oh, talking to themselves, cool. Nothing there. Okay. Not touching the light switch because that ended the scene last time. I want to keep looking for stuff. Oh, wait. Wait, no, back in, what, what was it, 2002 was where we just were? It was all baseball, now it's all football. Weird, okay. I want this, not the light switch. Don't forget to turn off the light. House rules. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna do that because that ends the scene. Psychiatrist. PTSD counseling with Dr. Stevens. July 9th. Is that a 19? 1993 at 3 p.m. There's a number there. Okay. So this is... I'm assuming before every- look at- look, look at this place! It's- ow, that's my desk. <laughs> this place is relatively clean, unlike last time. This must be- like, I mean, obviously he's having PTSD counseling, so it's- uh, he's already back from the war and everything, but this was a bottle of antidepressants last time, and now it's just a beer can. And everything seems relatively organized, maybe a little messy. Like, maybe it hasn't- He's, he's drowning his sorrows in drink, obviously. There's alcohol everywhere. Okay. I'm just saying things as I think of them. More dirty plates. Yeah, this must be, like, just as the PTSD is, like, really starting to make him sink. Okay, there's something there. I just... Oh, wait. Nope, I had it. There we go. What is this? A submarine. Huh, that's kind of cool. Why you keep that under the sink, I'm uncertain, but... Oh, look at all that. Look at all that beer. Nothing in there I can interact with. This guy is drinking heavily to forget his problems. Hello. Scott's Blocks. I just heard something. Are these the antidepressants? 
Yep. Sertraline? Sir, Sertraline? 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 Yeah. So he was starting to need antidepressants, but it hadn't really gotten bad, bad yet. And fast forward a couple years. What? For, this is 93? Uh, and then the, the second scene I was in was 2002. So, yeah. He, had to, he was dealing with this for a long time, which sucks. What's this? Wait, so, so something was written there. I didn't, I didn't see it. I'm assuming I need a key. Okay. I'm assuming the kid is down there. Oh, no, Scott. Okay, so Scott is his name. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's weird. The door is all warped. Oh, that's weird. Yikes. Okay, so I think the game's telling me I shouldn't go in there. Or there. Or there. Okay, cool. Wait. Can I can I watch the movies? I'm still looking for a missing picture in a frame, and then whatever the bird has to do with anything. Oh, well, okay. Okay, this game's not a horror game, but it's still. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Buddy. Where are my blocks? I don't know. So what happens when you don't put your toys away, kid? Okay, so what am I doing? Can I can I end the scene? I kind of don't want to. I want to find the missing picture. Or, better yet, where the keys are. Something to do with the bird and the missing picture. Frame. Alright, let's see what we got here. Leave your message after the tone. Message box full. Yeah, Please I have PTSD behavioral messages. issues along with antidepressants, and you decide to leave the kid with me. Good. This guy's name might as well be Todd Walter. Except his name is Todd Williams, not Walter. But you know, you get it. Oh, there it is. All messages deleted. Well, perhaps I shouldn't have done that. Whoops, I deleted their messages. Oh, thank you. Look at all the alcohol bottles, dude. Yeah, I need to find the key. The key was... I mean, the key was hanging right here last time. Yeah, I think I've looked at everything. My kid doesn't want to see me. Good night. Oh, we're back in here, huh? Oh, okay, so I'm going back and forth between June of 2002 and June of 2003? Or no, no, sorry, 93. 93, that's what it is. Sports magazine. Good afternoon. On my orders, the United States military oh has God, begun strikes Bush. against Al-Qaeda terrorist training camps and military installations of the Taliban regime. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! These carefully targeted actions are designed to disrupt the use of Afghanistan as a terrorist base of operations. Uh, I kind of like the fact that I was young enough to not really understand any of that. <laughs> yeah. What was this, 2002? I was eight, I think. I was eight years old. Because I was born in 1994. So go ahead and do the math. And if I did it wrong, man, am I going to be embarrassed? Fairy tales. 
Wait, I thought I had a little boy. I mean, uh, it's okay if little boys are in fairy tales, but just, you know, usually that's kind of a girl thing. On my orders, the United States military has begun strikes. 22. What's 22? We don't use military time very often in, uh, in, in the U.S. What is 22? Uh, 22 is 10 at night, isn't it? I suppose I could just read the analog things. I'm just an idiot, but... Military cap. operation by our staunch friend, Great Britain. Other close friends, including Canada, yeah. Okay. He, he put it down. It's facing down. Forces as the operation unfolds. Oh boy. More than forty countries. Okay. Can you? I don't really want to listen. I thought I turned you off. Have granted air transit or landing. Quiet, runs. Mr. President. Um. Speaking of Mr. <gasps> what the. F I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> okay, there's a military ghost in my house. I feel like I should maybe call somebody about this. Uh, the Long Island medium, maybe? I don't know if we live in Long Island, and I don't actually know what her name is, but, you know, just maybe? I got a ghost in my house. This, I don't like this at all. But anyway, as I was saying, um, as of the day that I'm recording this, even though... Like, just, you know, Mr. President made me think of it. Um, but as of the day I'm recording this, uh, John McCain passed away yesterday. Which is very sad. You know, I may not have agreed politically, but he was a good guy. And he deserved better than to go this way. So, wait, am I, like, seeing all this from the eyes of Ted? Or is that Ted screaming on the other side of the room? I'm unsure. You have one new message. Here we go. Hottie? You there, baby? Tell mom what was going on, sweetie. I tell that deadbeat dad of yours to pick up the goddamn phone. I'm sorry, baby. I just get so scared. Should I... Should I just come over there? Yes, you should. I will if you want me to. So that you never did a goddamn thing for me either. Why start now? But I did something for you, Mama. I killed the one. Okay, now he's screaming about his mom. What after I after I played that message. This is weird. Um, who am I playing as in the perspective of? He said it's the memories of Walter, so I'm assuming Hello. That means that I'm this is Walter right now. But hello, the fuck is don't forget to turn off the light, it's crossed out, so don't turn off the light in this scene, okay? Maybe? I don't fucking know. Basement key. Okay, I have the keys to the basement now. Oh. That's on you! That's your fault! Think the war made you some kind of fucking hero? You feel like a hero? When you're beating my ass or smacking me? I don't think I want to go down there just yet. Uh, I want to go see if I can go into Scott's room. I have two uncles named Scott, by the way. So one of them is Uncle Scotty, and the other one is Uncle Scott. So when I hear the name Scott, I definitely don't think of a child. Oh, keep out. He took the doorknob off. What the heck? I'm only hearing his voice, though, so that makes me think he's the mom's not actually there. But... I suppose there's only one way to find out. Let's go down. Nothing but a pair of fucking punching bags. You did teach me one thing. You taught me how to shoot. You kept telling me to man up. Fucking man up? You never showed me how to man up. Oh, this is Some uncomfortable. Some Mr. Fix-It you were. Couldn't fix your goddamn life. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, go die in a fire, good sir. <sighs> what the fuck? I'm still here? So I take it I wasn't supposed to do that. I screwed up and now I gotta I gotta find a way to, you know, go down to the basement and not get shot by that guy. <sighs> fuck. Okay, maybe I need to distract him or something. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, okay? I'm just kind of working on it, okay? Do I still have the key to the basement? A lot of good it did me. So... Oh, that's cool. My inventory, I just looked down, and I have it here. Basement key. I mean, I have the key. Does that mean 
No, I should probably go back to like 91 Man or something up. and do it, right? I can't go down there now if he'll freaking shoot me. Let's so do it one more time for good measure. You Couldn't fix your goddamn life. Sir, I have your key. Lately? Please don't shoot me. Bed. There's definitely something on the counter That's there. That's on you. That's your fault. Ah! Hello. Oh my god, you look scary. Okay. Yeah, okay. I gotta get out of here. I, I have the basement key. I don't know if that carries over in memories. But obviously I don't need the basement key if the basement door is already open. So, uh, what I need to do is... Turn off the light, go back to 93 or whatever it was. Can I close this and lock him in? I didn't choose to be bored! I can't, okay. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off the light, even though the game told me not to. Sorry. Is that you? Aha! I still have the key! Okay, awesome. That means... I looked at all this shit already. Yep, okay. That means I now have the key. go oh this is disturbing and uncomfortable okay okay I appear to be alone Dad, if you're not in your kids room and you're not upstairs where are you unless I'm Ted which is entirely possible I'm not going back there. Screw that. <laughs> All this football stuff. Maybe maybe he's into football and his kid's into baseball. Who knows? Oh! Oh! There's the broken picture frame. Okay. Cool. I'll, maybe that'll end the scene, so I'm going to look at everything else first. Empty beer bottle. There's the tetracyclic look again. Yeah, alcohol and antidepressants. That's a good combo. Throw a child into the mix and you have a wholesome family. Okay, I think that's everything except this. Got it. Okay, yeah, I definitely didn't do that. Um. Okay, when things start flickering, that's not good. The last time something flickered, uh... Yeah, I got a gun shoved in my face. Okay, nothing's behind me, good. Okay, okay, I don't like the flickering. Can you please stop that? I, I wanna get out of here. Get me out of here, get me out of here. Don't like the basement. Don't like basements! <sighs> okay. Oh, what the frickity frank is going on in your house, bruh? Oh, that's weird. The light comes on when I go towards it. Why is somebody singing in my answering machine? Oh, this is fucked. Everything's going wrong! Okay. Just gonna put the picture back. Just gonna do that. Daddy, is that you? Oh, hello, sir. Hi, Scotty. Hey, hi. Does the game want me to come towards you? Because my horror game instincts are telling me not to do that. Okay, fine, I'll do it. Hey, hi, hey, hi, hi. Epileptic seizure warning, you know, I should probably also say. You're not supposed to be here. Oh. I can't believe I looked up to him. I'm not supposed to be here? What are you talking about? What does that mean? Couldn't save his own family. We're not even a family. We're oh. a bunch of goddamn POWs. Okay. Now he's up there looking at the picture now, so now I can go down into the basement without him bothering me. Okay, okay. I, I know I know what I'm doing. I don't, really. But I know what I'm doing, kind of. Well, you're too late. You want to find him so bad? Oh, the bird. The bird. Okay. Wait, no birdie. I have seen the glory of the Lord. He is trapped. No, shut up, please. Shut up, please. I don't want to lure him down here. Wait, no, where? I, I, I want to catch the bird. Is there a way to catch the bird? Terrible swift is true. Is I think the bird's just gone. Yeah, I think the bird's just gone. Damn, well, I was hoping to catch the bird, but. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Uh oh, 
I broke it. I broke it. I broke everything. I broke everything. Oh god, I broke everything. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh, this is trippy as all get out. Oh, I've entered the Twilight Zone. Oh no! Oh god! I definitely broke it. I definitely broke everything. Oh, what the hell. Yeah, I'm making a doorway. The light is telling me to stand here and I gotta look through here. Oh shit, okay. Okay. Well, that that's Scott's blocks, right? That, that was that game. Oh shit! You know, I don't know the answer to that question either. Oh, this is so weird. What happened? Oh, you're the kid! Oh, damn! What happened? Get it out of my head! Oh, damn! Oh, no! Really? Oh, I was really getting into that! Oh, I was getting so into that, dude! Oh, crap! Oh, dude! Okay, so he had PTSD from serving in Iraq. Uh, the mother left and left the kid in the father's possession because that's a smart thing to do. Obviously, the bird's important because, look, it's, up, it's on the freaking main menu. But, so the kid grew up, and so nine years later, he comes back as a teenager and killed his father and then himself? Or did the kid have psychological issues, too? Because just before he killed himself, he said, Get out of my head. Oh, strange. Oh, that's so intriguing. That's so cool. Okay, hold on. I'm going to take the headset off. So that was the demo for Transference, a psychological thriller type of mystery puzzle game uh, coming out this fall, provided there's no delay, um, made by Ubisoft and uh, Elijah Wood's film company i don't remember the exact details but um i've been you know keeping my eye on this game for over a year now and ever since e3 2017 and uh it looks really cool it may not be super exciting or anything but i feel like we could really get into the story and get to the bottom of the mystery i was really starting to get into that and then all of a sudden bam it ends so i mean i guess that's what the demo is supposed to do right it's supposed to make you want to buy the full game and I do. I, I, I want to see the rest of this game. Um, I'll probably end up getting it no matter what. Uh, but if you guys want to see a playthrough of it, please let me know and I will uh, we'll tackle this game together. I'm super excited to see what this game becomes. I had no idea what it was going to be. Um, even after two E3s, I was like, I still don't know what this game's about. Like, it's very, it was very shrouded in mystery and I was really intrigued by it. And now actually getting to be in the game for even such a brief time... Uh, to kind of finally start to figure out exactly what we'll be getting into is really cool. I wonder how, like, like obviously this is an experiment with some type of new piece of technology, but, you know, why? We don't really know why. Raymond Hayes at the beginning was being awfully cryptic about what he was putting us in for, so I feel like there's even more to this game than meets the eye already. So please let me know if you want to see a full playthrough. Like and favorite if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more PlayStation VR from me. This game's creepy. <laughs> this is like Twilight Zone VR version. So let me know if you guys want to see a full playthrough of this game when it eventually comes out. Probably in a couple of months. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Farewell, friends.